Hi, I'm Anja Rosman, and I'm a film and TV composer. You might know me as one of the composers for Apple TV's Prehistoric Planet that we did together with Hans Zimmer and Cara Talvi here at Bleeding Fingers Music. Today, I want to show you a few of my custom key commands that I created for Cubase, and they really, really help to speed up my workflow. I've gotten a lot of questions throughout the years about these key commands, and I've never really made a video about them. So without further ado, here they are, and I hope they improve your workflow as well. So these are the key commands that people have been requesting for me to do a video about. Uh, as you can see, I can very quickly switch between modulation, expression, volume, articulation, velocity, and then I also have CC0 here. Uh, which I have routed to my staccato note lengths of Cinematic Studio Series strings, woodwinds, and brass. Uh, but I can also switch between the different layers. So now we're looking at the first violin, second violins, violi, celli, and basses. And on L, I have this key command, edit active part only. So if this is on, now, even if I try to select everything, it's only going to select the double bases. If it's off and I select everything, it selects everything. All right, so first things first, how did I set up these? Uh, they are quite annoying to set up and it's not very intuitive. Uh, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to delete all of my presets. Okay, so you go right here, controller lane setup. And the key is that whatever you have open, so for example, let's start with modulation. If I have the modulation open here in my key editor and I go to add preset and I write mod here, this is going to add a preset for modulation. Then I need to go into the key commands, controller lane setup. So this would be controller lane setup one. And I will assign it to this guy. Boom, assign. Uh, let's get remove this one, delete, delete. Okay. Okay, this is one. Uh, it's, I guess it's saving or something. All right, next one would be then expression, add preset, expression. And we will do the other key commands later. So let's just move on on this key right here that I'm pressing. I like to have main volume. So CC7, add preset, so I'll just do CC7. The next one is Velocity, add preset, velocity. And then what is left? Uh, my articulations, add preset, articulations. And then why not? Let's do CC2 for this guy. Add preset, CC2. Okay, then I have to remember it, the order I assigned them. So this would be controller lane one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I go to key commands again, this would be one, this would be two, this would be, I'm going to delete this just in case, this would be three, this would be four. This would be five, and this would be six. Okay, and now let's see if that works. Yep, that works. So um, then the next thing are these two key commands. So this would be activate next part. You can find it right, activate activate next part I have it to this and activate previous part so it's the other way this would be previous part sign 
next part. Oh, I did it the wrong way around. Like this. Okay, so now I can switch between all of my instruments. Go back or forward. So what this allows me to do is if I want to draw modulation here. So let's do this. I can just copy this. Go to the cursor to the same position and then just do this. And now it's copied in all of the parts. And I decide to do that for the same for the expression. Hope you enjoyed this video uh, and hopefully this will help out a lot of people. Take care.